Who is Randy? Don't bring anyone love into this. Your mom in the fucking shit! You know, people don't realize we had the entire Segura clan over at our house for... Everybody was here. Christmas. I had to organize Can a I just huge tell party. You, it was a chaos. That was chaos. the worst experience of my life. It was... We had no fun. Tom and I were... I've I was never been more upset. Popping fucking... Uh, 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 Pimo Benden or whatever. What am I talking about taking? My pills. Yeah. Xanax. It was horrible. I spent a month preparing. That was the worst idea. Oh my we God. Never we never can do again. that again. Never again. Here's what happened. We had a door ripped off because the kids were slamming it so much. One of the safety gates for the dogs got ripped up. Someone spilled wine on our couch and a then your full s- glass of wine. red wine yeah. on our gray couch. And then your sister who was ripped comes over and goes, I know what to do. You have to put salt on it. And then yeah. she throws an entire box of salt on our couch. Yeah, just empty salt. I was like, what? A whole container of salt. I was like, what are you doing? She's like, that's not a tax <laughs> salt. I was like, oh my God. And then she goes, you got to put soda water on it. And, and then, then she, she poured, poured soda, soda water, water on it. And then my other sister was like, I can help. What did it And I was like, shut up. So it was like, yeah. We were off the rails, man. I wasn't good. So I was so good. so stressed out that you know, I was so stressed out. I took you know I take CBD at night. Yeah. Should we get into this story? Is this is this okay? <laughs> this was the best. This was so this great. is the night before our this Christmas twenty third twenty third of December. The Seguras have descended on us. Um, I'm taking care of the kids. And wait, I because I come home. Oh, that's the night I did. Uh, the podcast with Rogan Ari and, and Ari and, and yeah. Bert. And so I'm with the kids. I'm trying to get the house ready. The the in-laws are arriving. Everybody's arriving. I'm stressed out to the gills. I, you know, I'm drinking my wine. I'm doing this and that. And I'm in bed. And I think to myself, I'm just going to do some CBD drops like I normally do. I'm going to chill out. I'm just going to. Now, to be clear, to set this up clearly, you regularly take CBD with no THC. Right. And it just is like a pre bedtime routine that helps you relax and go to sleep. But it is right. THC free. I don't because like Because they to get make high. it with various degrees. You can get uh, absolutely no THC. You can get like just a smidge, gradually more, or you can go, you know. What's the one I take? It's like no THC. Yeah, I, 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 I forget the name of it, but yeah, it has no THC. Holy mackerel. So I get home. Around, so you take your t- your I take CBD. My t- CBD oil. I pass out around 11, 10, 30, 11. And I get home around 12, 30, maybe one. No, one. One, okay, because we started that podcast. This is unbelievable. We already flew in, so we started at like 10 p.m. And it just goes, and you know how it, like Rogan podcasts sometimes go three, three and a half hours. Has he aired that one yet? Yeah, that, that, that went out like the next day, but... It was it was super long, and um, I just remember that I was like, I gotta go, man. Um, we had we were drinking, and I had, I got an Uber home, and then I walk in the room, and you're like, oh, this is the this is the best part is that I walk in, and you get up to go to the bathroom, and you just go like, hi, you kind of like scratch my back. Yeah, I'm you're like, you're brushing your teeth at the yeah. sink. And I go, go take pee. a pay, uh, and, and like, like oh, all right, hi. how was the podcast? We you know we're yeah, just totally chatting, totally normal. And then I go to lay down in the bed. And I'm like, I notice like a lag in my vision. Like, you know, when you, it's hard to, like you never done acid before and you kind of move your head and you go, wah, wah, wah. Like There's that like kind of trail. S- traily. Yeah. And I was like, that's weird. And I just thought, well, maybe I'm still dreaming because I may be sleepwalking because I would sleepwalk as a kid. And I thought I, I was in a deep sleep when you came in. I thought maybe my brain thinks yeah. I'm asleep and this is what's that sleep paralysis. Yeah. And I put my head on the pillow and I'm like, wait a minute, this is my head is not working right. Something is wrong. Am I asleep? Am I in sleep paralysis? Something's wrong. Something is wrong. And then you lay down next to me. And I'm like, I, I don't know anything yet. I just go like, all right, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm so exhausted. Because, you know, you talk three and a half hours late at night. I'm just tired. So I just lay down. And then you, I hear you go, Tommy. And I go, yeah, you go, something's wrong. And I'm like, what? And I'm, by the way, I'm spent. I'm like, what? And she's like, something's wrong. I thought she was going to tell me, like, we need to <laughs> make sure you unplug the Christmas lights. I was like, what? She was like, I think I'm having a stroke. <laughs> and I was like, what? And she's like, I feel wrong. I feel something's wrong. And she sits up oh my and God. turns the light on. And I'm like, 
Because you know, like when you're tired and you, you're oh. like, I finally get to sleep, your body shifts down. So I was like in that mode and I was like, now I got to like, I'm like, wait, what do you mean? She's like, I just feel, I feel something is wrong with me. And I was like, she goes, I think I need to go to the hospital. I'm like, wait a minute. What are you talking well, about? Well, I'll tell you, I, I, I wanted to go to the hospital because, because I was so out of my head yeah. and I was like, my thoughts aren't right and i and my vision was like fractal vision and i'm like something's wrong i think i'm having a stroke like i really thought that my meds were off and yeah. i was i was losing my mind because yeah. I, I really I could see I, that you were really par- and, so then- and i had read about strokes and and this doctor was like yeah you you kind of are in like a fractal vision world and i was like yeah. i'm having a stroke i'm having let's go to the hospital let's so go like, to the hospital we got to go to the hospital i'm like what are i start waiting I'm like what are the chances that that's happening right now so i go <laughs> um I just like take a second. I go, did you take anything? And she's like, um, I took my CBD. And I was like, can I see it? <laughs> and she hands it to me and I'm like, oh, this is the highest dosage THC CBD that they make. <laughs> and I go, did you take like a full vial of this? And she's like, yeah. And I go, I go, you're just, you're just high. I go, you're fine. I go, I know it feels like this, but everything's going to be all right. And she goes, okay. And she just turns the lights off, lays down. And then a second later, she goes, no, (laughs) something's really wrong. (laughs) And I go, no, it's not. I go, look, it just feels that way. I know what it feels like. I just want you to know. I was a really good wingman. You were real? Well, because here's what happened. I, I decided that night that I was going to put a little stink on my CBD game because I was so stressed out. I thought, I'm just going to take a little bit of the kind with THC in it, mm-hmm. just a little bit. And so I took a little dose and like an hour had passed and I was like, oh, this is like real chill. So I'm just going to, uh, like I took a bunch because it was the kind that Sammy had given me from the comedy store, mm-hmm. Tripoli. And you know, Trips does not fuck around. Like he's always got yeah. those bags in the. He doesn't green do. Room. He doesn't do gluten free. No, you know what I'm saying. And so I just I would load it up. And the reason I panicked so much because I had taken it like four hours before I'd woken up and tripped. So I was like, wait, but I took that shit four hours ago. How can I be this high? from four hours ago mm-hmm. and that's a part and so in my head i kept looping like i think i'm going insane because i can't be this high four hours later and then i would go but tom said i was okay and that this is just drugs and he's not a liar so i'm okay and then i would have a full panic attack where my heart would pound out of my chest and the adrenaline full panic and then i would talk myself down and then i would go i'm, I'm on drugs i'm okay i'm on Tom's not a liar. It can't be real. And then panic attack. I would have rolling panic attacks until about 6 a.m. And then I just got out of bed, took care of the kids. I was like, I can't take care of the kids this high, remember? Yeah. (laughs) It's like, Tom, I can't take care of our kids. It was, uh, yeah. (sighs) And by the way, the reason I feel like I knew what to say, because I've been on your side of it even recently. Oh, my God. And all you want when you're like that high is somebody cool and calm around you. You know, you just want someone to be like, Look, this is gonna go away. It's yeah. just a feeling. So I kept trying to tell you oh that. Oh my god! You know, because you can be a bad friend to somebody who's yes. that high, and you could be like, "You're probably gonna die right now." You oh know? my god! <laughs> and and really make them go really. <laughs> well, because you know when you're that psychotically high, like you don't know how much time has passed. You're you don't know so if it's one minute or high. ten years I mean, or. Very retarded. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, the next morning I was so grateful. I was still high when I got up to take care of the children, but I was so grateful to you because you were my rock. And if I had just woken up and gone pee and you weren't there, I would have been hospitalized. Like I would have called the ambulance. You really would have? A hundred percent. Because I thought I I had forgotten that I had taken the CBD. I'd forgotten. (sighs) And I was just like, I'm just going losing my mind. It was crazy. I'm never taking shit that Sam Tripoli gives me. (laughs) I mean, dosing. Oof. That was horrible. I did. Um, so Bert has a Ugh. new TV series with Netflix, and um, I did. I did an episode of it yesterday with him and Joey Diaz, <laughs> and it's. I can't tell you details, but I can. I can tell you that it's basically just an episode 
of Joey talking and Bert and I laughing. Oh my god! <laughs> like literally, I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing here except just being like a giggler <laughs> because Joey's just saying insane shit. Like you see the whole crew just going like this, <laughs> like this in the background, and um, yeah, he was like, "You want an edible?" I go, "No, no, nothing from you." And he was like, "Pop." Pop, pop, like popping them in his mouth, smoking a joint on the set. <laughs> Just a so fucking crazy. maniac. And people are like, is that how he is in real life? Yeah. Yes. All the time. Yes. It's not an act. No. Hello, and thank you for watching that highlight. Uh, if you want to see more of those, we have them. They're provided for you. So enjoy. Just do a deep dive like you're trying to study us. Click on these and subscribe. Hit the subscribe button, and then they'll just be delivered to you. You can watch them when they come out. Please do it.